As Pokemon card collectors, we're always looking for the ultimate item to open up. Sometimes that ends up being a really cool booster box, booster pack, or even a mystery box. But today I found something that claims to be the ultimate collection box. In fact, we're going to be opening up ultimate collection box number 7, 8, and 9. I really don't know what I'm getting myself into, but this is the ultimate collection number 7. And apparently, I guess these probably started at number 1 and now they're all the way up to number 9. So this is kind of old. And on the front here, you can definitely see some stuff from like the Sun and Moon era, some old school like x and y stuff on there as well and then on the back there's actually a bunch of cool stuff but i would suspect that you're not guaranteed any of the stuff that's on here it's basically going to be random inside okay let's open up this first one and see what we get out of here these are actually, I think at Target and Walmart is where you can find them, or maybe just Target, I'm not sure. And I also wanted to let you guys know that I'm actually giving away one booster box to one subscriber here on the channel. So make sure you hit the giveaway by number one, smashing the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And then number three, leave a comment and let me know if you think these are going to be really good or really bad. Or maybe they'll be somewhere in the middle, I don't really know, but let's see. Okay, the first box here, so I don't, they definitely don't make these ones anymore. Like nine is the newest one that just released. Seven might be kind of old, so I, I really don't know. But is this going to be the ultimate collection? Let's see what the first item is. And it looks like, okay, we have a battle arena deck. And I actually have no idea where this is from. Um, oh, 2017. That's kind of old. So this might be like a theme deck. But let's see if there's actually anything good in here or not. Ooh, okay. We definitely have an old school energy on here from, from 2013. Excuse me? 2013 energies? Hollows on here? That's actually pretty good. How old is this box? Wait, is there going to be like some old school packs in here? Water energies? Magnezone from 2015? That's actually kind of cool. Wait a second. So this looks like, okay, it's a theme deck, but these cards, bro, that's going back to 2013. I don't even know what like generation that is that we're talking 2013 now. We might be in either black and white or X and Y. I think we're in X and Y. We're in X and Y. That's pretty old. Wait, that's pretty old. Even for just like regular bulk. That's kind of cool. Wally Ultra Ball. Oh my god, wait, there could be some crazy stuff in here actually, since this is the oldest one I could find. I could not find any older than 20, or sorry, from, uh, I couldn't find any older than collection number seven. All right, so that means even if they were like meh when they were released, they could be really good right now. I'm seeing like, I'm flying through some really cool stuff here. Skyla, Shauna, um, there's stuff like really old stuff in here from like end of black and white. Oh my god, wait, dude, that is kind of crazy. Kiram. 2013 thunder is 2013 dude there's definitely some black and white era cards and that's actually kind of insane and super early x and y whoa okay that's actually really cool wait a second we interrupt this program to let you know that the official pokerep packs are in stock now but here's the cool part the mega bonus pack which could be any pack as old as the original 1999 base all the way through to every single generation of pokemon cards ever made you'll have a shot to pull any of the four tiers which are colored accordingly to the rarity to start it off we have the lowest tier which is the green tier and that gets you another sword and shield pack the next step up is the red tier and that gets you any set from the sun and moon or x and y era but keep your eyes peeled for the silver tier which can get you any set from the black and white era of pokemon and finally we have the gold tier that gets you anything from the original wizard of the coast era such as base set jungle fossil as well as the heart gold soul silver era diamond and pearl platinum and more and as always odds are listed on the back packaging so you know exactly what you could pull you can grab your pokey red packs at the pokecave.com but make sure you grab them soon because we have a hard time keeping them in stock so click that first link down below in the description all right let's keep going and see what else we get out of here so so I feel, I'm feeling like stuff all over the place. What is this? Wait, what is this? This feels weird. Uh, okay, let's see. This is... Oh, whoa! Oh, no, but it broke a little bit. I've never seen this before. Dude, that is sick. What? I couldn't tell you what this is from or if this is from a collection box or something. But we got Eevee and Pikachu. Pikachu is like jumping down a tree. Unfortunately, it's broke off like halfway. It's still actually pretty good. Could probably glue that back. That is a really cool figure. I've never seen this. 2018 on the bottom by the way i spent like around 35 to 40 dollars on each of these so that's like the ballpark on the prices that i paid let's see what else we get in here i'm feeling a bunch of stuff is this sleeves maybe okay this is like a ton of sleeves and okay yeah these aren't anything too special 2017 sleeves here there's not even 60 it's probably like 20 or so right here maybe 30 okay okay what else oh no it's getting very empty in here oh no uh we have just a pretty basic coin as well from does it say the date no, no date on this one. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, anything else? Oh, I think that's... Oh, there's two jumbo cards, though. Does it say... I don't even know if it says it comes with two jumbo cards or not. Two. It does say. Okay. Let's see. These could be good, though. Let's see what the first one is. 
Oh, a lowland sand slash from 2020. Oh, so how old? So these can't be older than 2020 then if this is in here. A lowland sand, sand slash 2020 uh, jumbo GX. Oh, yeah, okay. Then uh, there's just one more card in here. And then literally that's going to be it. Okay. And then the next item is a big old teapot. Uh, and that is also 2020. All right, we'll take it. I don't think that one was the ultimate collection. Wait, there's something else in there. Hold on. There's actually two loose cards in here. I heard it as I was throwing it. Oh! Oh, my God. Wait, hold on. Bro. Oh, my God. Dude, what? Dude, I love this card. And then a random crabominal in there. Oh, my God. Dude, I, I promise that was, that was actually in there. I don't know if you could see it on the replay when I showed it. There were two cards left in there. Dude, let's go. Black Star promo. SB on it. That is the best thing we found in there. I literally just threw it across the screen. Like, throw the throw the replay back on that and see if we can see it. Okay, now I can throw it. We're good. Okay. That, I think there's actually $30 at least of value in that now that we found that card in there. That was pretty wild. Okay, let's move on. Now we have Ultimate Collection Box number 8. So I'm going to assume this one's newer, but I don't know exactly what to expect in here. That's the front. That's the back. You can pause it if you want to read it, but I think we should just go... We should just open it. Oh my god, that sounds terrible. That's like... That that sounds so bad. Okay. Oh no. Alright, I hope this stuff isn't messed up. That is not good. Oh, it's all loose. Wait, there's a pack in here. There's a pack in here? Oh, it's Vivid Voltage. Okay. Vivid... Oop, I'm on the screen. Vivid Voltage, not too bad. Alright, let's open this Vivid Voltage pack up. So yeah, this is also probably like 2020 slash 2021. Yeah, 2020 on the back. Okay. So yeah, these are probably like the oldest they go is like to 2020 on this, at least for the seventh one. I'm assuming the rest of these, but let's see if we can get something crazy out of one pack of Vivid. Let's go. All right. Carolise, Clefairy, and again, I probably spent like $35 on this one. Meowth. We got Riolu. Oh, and a Fortress. All right. I want this one to be better. I want to progressively get better on these things, but this one sounds so bad. What is this? Oh, it's a pin. Oh, okay. It's a Charizard pin. Not too bad. We got a really cool Charizard pin. Oh, no. This thing feels super empty, but I am not throwing it until I check to see if there's cards loose in here. We got a coin. Oh, we got the Detective Pikachu coin, actually. I don't think I've ever seen this coin, or if I have, I haven't seen it in a really long time. Okay, is this the Ultimate Collection, or is this the Junk Box? I don't know what's happening. Let's see. There we go. Jumbo card. All right. Make it a good one. Make it a good one. Bro. <laughs> Double V from Champion's Path. Nobody wants a Double V Jumbo card. I'm sorry. And if you do want one... I don't know. <laughs> They're pretty easy to get. Okay, okay, okay. So there are loose cards in here. Okay, with only one jumbo card. I feel two this time. I'm not gonna throw them. First card. Oh, not bad. EVGX Black Star promo. Full art. That's actually not too bad. We'll take it. Okay. But it's just all this is the second one just gonna be a normal, like non hollow random. Just a random non hollow C. Oh, there's a third in there. Okay, that's a reverse. Whatever. And then yeah, just a regular cloister from 2017. And is that empty? I'm going to check. That's empty. Oh, that is not the ultimate box. All right, but can the ultimate collection box number nine do the trick? I actually have two of these, and it says look for randomly inserted gold medal Pikachu and Charizard cards. Not included in every box. So I got two of them to press our luck here. That's what it shows on the front. I think you do get a bunch of packs in here, hopefully, and that's what it shows on the back. Uh, let's just start off with this one. Now, these ones actually feel kind of heavy. Like, they feel like they have some weight to them. So, I'm hoping that there's decent stuff in here. And now I'm thinking about it. If there is a gold card in them, maybe, like, it'll just feel heavier. Because gold cards are pretty heavy. So, I don't know. This one feels pretty heavy. There might maybe have a chance to be a gold card in here. I don't know if I'm just... Let's just see. Ooh! Ooh, what's that? Chilling Rain Sleeve Pack. Not too bad. These are actually kind of tough to find-ish. Getting tougher to find, I should say. But a Chilling Rain Sleeve Pack... All right, let's see what we get in here. Yeah, Sword and Shield era packs and stuff, depending on the sets, they're, being they're getting tougher to find. Um, Chilling Rain is starting to, starting to get there, you know what I mean? Ghastly, it's not it's probably not a bad idea to pick up some packs to hang on to for a little bit. Spirit's Home and a Volcarona. All right, that was a good start. This might actually be the best one. I feel like there's a lot of stuff in here. What is this? Oh, Celebrations! Okay, this is actually not too bad. This is the one that I think you can get in Target. And I, I mean, I bought it off of eBay, so I'd assume in Target you could probably get them for even less than that. Maybe they're like 20 or $25. I'm not really sure. Let's we'll see what we got. Kyogre, the built up. Xerneas, and a Zacian regular V card. This is still my favorite item from the first box that I literally threw across the tip behind me. It's still my favorite item, but this one's pretty good because we already have two packs, which is like, I mean, at least you're getting packs. What is this? I think this might be sleeves. 
It is. Okay, so some vivid voltage sleeves from the ETB. Pretty standard stuff here. Regular sleeves. Okay. Um, I do know that there's jumbo cards. I all right. Let, let, let's pull the jumbo cards out. Ooh. Oh, okay. Okay. So this is from the first partner packs, right? I can't even remember. Yeah, 25th anniversary. I would assume this is from the first one. We got Squirtle. Okay. That's kind of cool. So we might get a lot of those types of jumbo cards. Oh, and then the Pikachu V. Okay, not too bad. Just a regular V. The Squirtle, definitely my favorite out of that, the Jumbos. Um, oh, right, there are loose cards in here. It feels like there's a handful. Let's just grab one at a time. First one is a regular Rowlet. Okay, Black Star promo. Not too good. Are we going to see some cool forts like we saw in uh, 7 and 8? Swoobat. Regular rare. Okay, we'll just pass that one. And then EVV Max. These are really easy to get. They're from the Shining Fates ETBs. But yeah, okay. Yeah, not too great on that one. Get out of here. Moving on, we got one more. It's going to be number nine again. Can we get the randomly inserted gold cards? I'm going to assume that since they have no pull rates on these, they could literally just put one in like a thousand if they really wanted to, which is kind of not cool. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about that. It just says it's by the Fairfield Company. It says what you get in here, and then like you might get a gold card. You might get a gold card. But we won't tell you what the odds are. <laughs> we won't tell you what the odds are. Okay, whatever. <sighs> Let's see what we get. All right. Now we have Fusion Strike this time. Okay, switching it up. And by the way, I should probably I should probably mention that I definitely don't really ever recommend buying these things. Like this is from the Fairfield Company. Usually not good. The only time I will say that they could be good is if you're buying an old one that's like from a while ago, like years ago. Because at the time when they released them, they were just like whatever. But nowadays, they could be really good. Any of the new stuff usually is pretty bad. Um, but then for the older ones, if you're buying them on e off of eBay, you got to spend a lot of money to get them. So. Read it. We actually got a pull of VMAX. Ultimate Collection. Nah, not the Ultimate Collection. Champ uh, celebrations. I'm just called a Champion's Path. Celebrations, which, yeah, Celebrations is kind of tough to find, to be honest with you. Uh, Xerneas and a flying Pikachu VMAX. Fly away, Pikachu. Um, What do we have? What do we have? Let's see. Uh, should we go to the Jumbos? Yeah, I'm not too excited for the Jumbos. We have Galarian Rapidash. Okay, okay. 2021 Jumbo. Yeah, you know, you just get them in the collection box. We have... Mudkip also a first party. We actually got both water starters or from you know a couple generations. I'm sure they did every generation though. We have what's this? Sleeves, I think. Sleeves, sleeves. Sleeves. Oh wait, these are actually kind of these are actually good. I think this is this unified minds. Ooh, unified minds probably from the ETB. These are actually probably the best sleeves we got today. Definitely. Yeah, these are <laughs> these are nice. These are good. Okay. Um, that's pretty solid. That's pretty solid. What else is in here? I do feel a lot of cards this time. Okay, let's see. So we have a regular Pikachu V. Okay, we did get the Jumbo, right? Yeah, so we got the regular V and the Jumbo. And then they're just whatever, you know. It's it's easy to get that stuff. Um, We have, yeah, okay. Just, just Shinx Reverse. And I, it's just probably literally going to be a non-hollow. Let's see. Is it a non-hollow? That's like the worst. A non-hollow rare. Okay. Anything else? No, that's it. Were these the ultimate collections? No. They weren't the ultimate collections, but they were all right to open up. I would never buy them again, though. But I will tell you this. I will always check before I throw boxes to make sure that there's nothing left in there. But yeah, guys, that is going to do it. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to smash the like button on your way out. And if you watch more content, click on one of the two videos at the top there. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you have a great day. And I will see you on the next one.